Steve, Saturday's defeat to Ealing was disappointing, but as a whole, how would you reflect on Richmond's championship season? I think we've had a really good season. Um, I, I think we've shown you know significant improvements in, in a number of areas. Uh, I mean, I think if you look at some of our results, you know, it's the first time in, I don't know, 30, 40 years since we've beaten Bedford home and away. Um, you know, Doncaster, who were pushing in all the way, you know, we were beating them for 79 minutes. You know, we drew here with Cornish Pirates. You know, we, we really competed against the top professional teams in the championship. And I think, uh, you know, that, that showed the progress that the squad has made. Our Champ Cup campaign then kicks off this Friday night against Harper. Can you sort of talk us through how we will approach this tournament in terms of the squad? Yeah, no, I think, you know, it's it's difficult this year with the Cup because, you know, the RFU had to put it at the end because of the problems with COVID. Um, so, you know, we very much see it as a development tool, you know, for our guys. Um, you know, we've got a, a number of players who've been playing incredibly well. You know, they've been knocking on the door of, of the first team. And, and it's a chance for us to give them, you know, an opportunity to play in the first team, you know, on the first team pitch in, in a cup competition. So, you know, I'm excited to see how, you know, some of these guys sort of pitch up on Friday night. The, you know, they've all been playing for the Vikings, our second team throughout the season. You know, yet again, the Vikings have won their league. You know, they've had a really successful season. So, so now the challenge is, you know, can they transfer that sort of form onto the first team stage? For the cup competition, squad sizes are reduced to 20 with roll and subs. Can you explain how we will look to use this as a, to our, our advantage? Yeah, no, I mean, it's a, you know, it's, it's a slightly different thing. It's, it's sort of back to our national one days where you had sort of five subs and, and you have 10 interchanges. So, you know, you have the ability to, uh, you know, get people on and off the pitch. Um, you have to be a bit careful sometimes. You don't leave yourself, um, you know, lacking players at the end. But it does give you an opportunity to sort of see players for probably a longer time than you would normally do. You know, one of the problems you have on a Saturday is, you know, you always have to leave somebody on the bench just in case there's a last minute injury. Well, that won't be the case, uh, the case on Friday. So hopefully we'll give those five guys on the bench some decent time to show what they're worth. Tickets are priced at just 10 quid for Friday's match. Why should everyone come along to the rag? Well, I mean, I think, you know, the players love Friday night games. You know, it's a different atmosphere. You know, it's under lights. You know, it feels like the end of the week. You know, they're looking forward to the weekend. And I think, you know, hopefully our supporters will come down and see that. You know, it can come down, have a few beers, you know, watch a really good game of rugby. Because I think, you know, both Richmond and Hartbury, you know, like to play a really good style of rugby and, and have a great Friday evening. You know, the weather's set fair, so, so we're really excited about it. Reflecting on our other teams as well across the club, our Richmond women, they're in action on Thursday evening against the Army. What has impressed you about their season? I think our women have done incredibly well because, you know, they've had to deal with sort of coming out of the, of the premiership. And I think, you know, their head coach, Mark Duggan, had, had a really tough task at the beginning of the season. But he has brought those group of players together. You know, their performances have improved, you know, throughout the season. You know, to finish fourth in, in, in their league, you know, at, at the first attempt, I think is really good. And I think, you know, Thursday night's game will be exciting. You know, the army are preparing for the inter-services. You know, they'll certainly be very motivated to do well. And again, it's a chance for our girls to play, you know, not a league game, perhaps play with a bit more freedom than they would normally do, and, and to really enjoy, you know, an evening on, on the first team pitch. Elsewhere are Vikings and Normans, as you mentioned, they've won their leagues. Our Jutes and Saxons have had very successful seasons. You must be, you must be pleased with the standard of rugby across these teams. I think, you know, you know, Richmond is a, almost a unique club these days, you know, to, to be putting out five teams in, in regular league matches. I, I don't know of any other club that does that. Um, but not only that, you know, the sort of numbers that we get at training, you know, only sort of two or three weeks ago, we were getting sort of 60, 65 players of training on, on a Tuesday and Thursday. You know, and that's after eight, eight and a half months of training. And, and, and that's why they do so well, because the, the guys who run out on a Saturday, they prepared, they practiced. They, they work with each other, uh, and I think that you know that brings huge benefits on a Saturday afternoon. So no, you know, really pleased, and and that depth is important to us. You know that that's why we can put out a really strong team this Friday. You know who have worked for most of the season, not in the first team. We've also seen huge progression made by our Richmond Colts. They finished their season with a fourteen to eighteen win over neighbours London Welsh. Explain how exciting it is to have such a young group of talented players come through. No, I mean, I think, you know, our Colts this year have had a, a really successful season. Um, you know, Colts is under 18, but it includes the under 17s as well. And, you know, more than three quarters of, of this year's team will still be Colts next year. You know, they got them through, through to the last 16 of, of the National Colts Cup. You know, they've beaten the local rivals, you know, London Irish, London Welsh, London Scottish. So they put themselves in a really strong position. And, you know, and, you know they must be very excited about what next season will hold. 
And just finishing up, next Thursday, the, the night before Good Friday, Thursday 14th of April, is the Richmond Rugby Award dinner. Why is this a special night and why should everyone come out and book their places? Well, I, I think the key thing is it's the first time we've been able to do it for two years. You know, we, we, we've been playing rugby, you know, whether it's been the adapted game or without any crowds. Uh, and finally, we're now allowed to, you know, have our supporters and all our players back. And, you know, and it's been a really successful season for Richmond. And I think we ought to celebrate that. You know, sometimes in rugby, we're not very good at sort of celebrating things that we've done unless there's a cup involved. But, you know, there's been huge commitment from the players and, and the coaches and the management, but also our supporters. You know, and, and we really hope as many of those and, uh, and their friends will come down and, and support the evening. Um, you know, it's it's a pretty light-hearted evening with a, with a sort of a serious undertone because there are, there are some players who will get awards that they really deserve. And, and there's also some players who are moving on. You know, we've got some senior players who have decided, you know, now is the time to finish. And we really want to give them, you know, the, the, the correct sort of send-off. So it, it's, it's always been a really exciting evening and I'm really looking forward to it. Well, we hope to see everyone there. Steve, thank you for your time and good luck to all Richmond teams this week. Thanks very much.